What about it? I'm glad he didn't use the eraser on me. And he said, that's that incorrigible kid. But he wrote my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. And I'm here tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh, we ought to praise him for what he's done for us. We ought to give him the glory for what he's done for us. And that's why I love the people of God. That's why I love the body of Christ. That's why I appreciate ministers and preachers, and teachers and singers and musicians. And I appreciate the people of God. That's why I appreciate the church. Because the church became my clinic for my soul. Changed my life. Gave me truth. Straightened my head out. Straightened my spirit out. Made me sane, sensible, and sober. And I've been that way ever since. And that's why tonight, nobody, nobody can hand me a lemon the rest of my life. Because even if you didn't like me, God loves me. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Even if I don't like you, God loves you. Praise the name of the Lord. Because he's good. I said he's good. I said he's good. I said he is good. Hey, I'm going to shout up to you. bright and morning star. You can't hand me a limit in life because he handed me a rose. The rose of Sharon. You can't make me so angry I won't love you somewhere. You can't make me so put out I can't get put back in. You can't make me turn away from saying Lord just don't save me and my house and us four no more. But Lord save them Yes. Because they are deserving of your grace, yes. just like I am. Yes, Praise the name of the Lord. I believe we're in a Pentecostal church tonight, yes. filled with the Holy Spirit. And I'm going to give him the glory for being God. I said, I'm going to give him the glory for being God. Hallelujah. You see, when Jesus comes in your life, he changes you if you'll let him change. Amen. He gives you another life if you'll let him do that. He's more willing to give than you are to receive. He's more willing to help than we are to be helped. He's more willing to change us than we're willing to be changed. Just give him a chance. It starts with your tear ducts. It goes into your tongue. It goes into your spirit. It goes into your soul. And finally gets in your body. And you're out of control. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Are you getting what I'm saying right now? I said, are you getting what I'm saying right now? It starts inside of you. It winds up on the outside. That calm, cool, collected person that just seems to be so dignified. They get out of control. Hope somebody gets out of control. Praise the name of the Lord. I said, I hope the whole church gets out of control. Amen. We don't want to have control. Just come on in, Holy Spirit. Come on in, mighty God. Come on in, great God of Israel. Come on in, great God Jehovah. Praise the name of the Lord. We don't know how to control it. Hope you get out of control tonight. Really do. Hope you can't control your arms. Can't control your tongue. Can't control your body. I hope this building gets so full of praise in just about three or four minutes until it's like a windmill in here. It's like a hurricane blowing through here. Somebody give him glory right now. Somebody give him praise right now.
us is real tonight. Yes. We want to exalt him. We want to praise him. We want to lift him up. We want to say thank you, Lord, for being this amazing Savior that you are. I can speak more, but I don't want to take any more time and because I've been at this listening post a long time here. And uh, I appreciate brethren coming. And we are thrilled to have added company tonight to these men I've made mention of. And we are glad to have Brother Herrera from Temple, Texas. And uh, he's over here on my right, uh, sitting with Brother Garcia. And of course, Brother Cesar Garcia, pastor of the church on 15th Street. And um, we've had good fellowship with him. Been in his home and ate a wonderful meal prepared by his lovely wife. Where is she tonight, Sister Garcia? Uh, over here. Uh, I, I have been in their home and enjoyed their hospitality. They're a wonderful, wonderful couple. And I got to know them. And now Brother Herrera has been over having meeting. Some of our folks went over Friday night, was with them. And, uh, and now Brother Herrera has come over and is with us tonight. And we're certainly glad he took time to do that. Very happy. Very happy about that. And then I look back here tonight, Brother Rodney, where have you been? It's been there such a long time. And look about that whole row of young people there. My goodness, we're so glad to see you. I don't know, I might have you play a number on the piano. You think you could do that? Uh, give us a number of something about, uh, just to show us uh, the glory of God. After a while here, I'll get you in there and uh, have him play us a number. Praise the name. Sister, how's, how's the name? How's the name? Very sick. All right, we're going to believe God, and we're going to sing one verse of this because I don't want to take any more time with it. I want to say He touched me. Amen. And we'll start with shackled by a heavy burden, neath the load of sin and guilt. Praise the name of the Lord. And sing it and believe for Dean Harris and Sister Euphemia Atkinson. We're missing her tonight over the weekend. And others we requested prayer for. Carol Hargraves been in the emergency room this afternoon, maybe in the hospital tonight with um, suspected kidney stones. All right, let's sing it. Praise God and believe that God touches and get ready for some good preaching and singing. Amen. And uh, before you leave tonight, we've heard of stuffing the ballot box. I don't want you to stuff a ballot box. I want you to stuff this box right here. Amen. Reach in there and get a 20. Not a 1, but a 20. And place it right down in here. And say, Lord, bless this offering box. I bless it real good. Amen, amen. Amen. He touched me. Praise God. Thank you. 